Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to model a plate and a cup so you can use it inside a restaurant or inside of an interior for any kind of scene you're trying to make. So today we're going to start off making the plate. So first off, I'm going to start with a cylinder and I'm going to go ahead and shrink it using the scale tool. So again, you just, uh, if you don't know the buttons, W is for move, E is for rotate, R is for scale. So I'm going to go ahead and scale and squish this. So you could, you know, make it more look like a plate. And you're looking at it and you're like, well, that kind of looks more like a quarter or a dime or something. If you press three, that is what's called a smooth option. So you're looking at it smooth. So if I go to face mode, I can hold shift and select all these faces inside the cylinder. And I'm going to press R for scale, and then I'm going to hold shift again and extrude, pulling inward, and you guys will see it added more geometry, so it actually added another row. Um, and you guys can do it again one more time. And then you can press W, and you don't have to hold shift this time because we're not extruding, but you can push down. You got to be careful, you don't want to push through the back side of your model, so you just want to push down slightly. What you can do is if you, <clears throat> you want to make this ring more pronounced, you can hold shift and select the whole ring. You can always press Z if you select something on accident, or hold shift again and deselect it. So what you can do is you can hold shift now and extrude upward to make it a ring. So if you want to make one of those plates that have a ring around it, you guys can. But here is a nice plate. Um, it looks like I must have extruded a face on accident when I was pulling up. But you guys can see you got a nice plate to eat and put food on. So again, if you're putting that inside a restaurant or a scene that you want to have a plate, you guys can. And you can always go back to face mode and go on the back side, select these faces. And you can just pull down if you want to make it you know, have a little bit more um, three dimensions to your plate. Now, to make a cup, we're going to go ahead and start with a, sorry, with a cube. And you might be like, how is that going to be a cup? Well, you know, we're, we're thinking about smoothing it. So first, we're going to hold shift for the scale tool. We're going to extrude inward and then extrude downward. And we're going to try to go as far down as we can without going through the floor. And you can press 3. So what's cool about this is now you have a bowl. So you can right-click and go back to object mode. And you can use this as a bowl. And you can just squish it. Let me duplicate this. So you can make it as a bowl. But you can make this a cup, too. So how you can make this a cup is all you have to do is click on the face mode again. And click on that bottom piece. And you're going to do the same thing we did as you're going to hold extrude. So we can hold shift and extrude, and it's going to square off that bottom. So now you have a cup. So again, one more time, take a cube. Go to face mode, right-click and hold. Press R for scale. Hold shift, and you'll see it where it says extrude. You're going to pull to the left. You're going to switch to the move option, hold shift again and push down. You're going to press three to smooth. Again, that's your bowl. But if you want a cup, we're going to do it one more time down here. Hold shift, extrude. And now we go back to object mode. And again, you can make that cup as thin or thick as you want. If you want to make it like a coffee mug, you can make it thicker. If you want to make it a, a glass, you can squish it this way and pull. But you can have a nice glass or bowl, depending on what you want to do. To lock these in, though, so for all these models, we're in small, we're in preview. So if you press 1, they'll go back to not being smooth. If we're putting them into a video game engine or another scene, if we don't permanently smooth them, they will actually come in like this. So all you have to do is go to Mesh, Smooth, and it will smooth it. Now, you can see sometimes it doesn't smooth it enough. All you have to do is just change division to 2 or 3, and you'll see it lock in the smoothness that you want. So again, mesh, smooth. 
and then you get your cups and your plates and your bowl.